ladies of el salón the chronicles oye ladies of el salón the chronicles escucha ladies of el salón and we are back for another episode i'm liz i'm mari i'm suli and back by popular demand we have our very own uh, 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 Sandy, <laughs> who today we're going to let take the entire show because we got cursed that beat up and say, calle ese coño, dejen que esa mujer hable. <laughs> that was crazy. So today That's is all awesome. about you. How you been, Sandy? I've been well. I've been really good. Thank you. You look amazing. Your hair looks usual. amazing. I Thank love you. the I've hair. I've been doing it myself. Just you're getting so... the machine and just doing it. You're so brave. I would not be able to. It looks amazing on you. You can Once definitely you do pull it off one time. Here. You're okay. Yeah, yeah. It looks really good. <laughs> wait, so you wait? You cut it yourself? The or you first just time my daughter yourself? did it, I told her just get the. I bought the the shaving machine, a real good one, because that's what someone told me to do. Wait, like um, clippers? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, I told my daughter, just go for it. She was like, you sure? She didn't even think about it twice. She was like, this is going to be <laughs> it's fun. It's like payback, mom. <laughs> yeah. So what, she did what it. Was your, what was your thought process on that? What was the, the, the why? The reason? Was it, was the, it yeah, a cathartic a moment or something? Yeah. yeah. Um, I had no reason at, the, at first. I didn't think I did. I was just like, you know what? All this hair, like, I don't know what to do with it. In the morning, in the afternoon, I could be doing other things with my time. And... Um, um, I don't know if you guys know about the curly process. It takes a long time to get it where you want it to be. And even though it looks beautiful, it takes a long time for it to look beautiful. Like people mm-hmm. take time to do their hair. Mm-hmm. And um, even when you blow dry it, it takes time to do your hair. And um, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I just don't. Like, I think I just have to throw on some clothes and put on lip gloss and I look great. But then the hair, like, what do I do with this hair? So I said to my daughter one morning, I was like, let's just go buy the clippers. And you do because I watched it on YouTube and they said um, it's better if somebody does the back or whatever. So she did what she did, but she was still afraid to use like the lowest. This is long. My hair is growing right now. Um, wow. cause I, and I put the lowest and I was like, give me, I'll do it. Cause it was already done. And I was like, what's the worst thing that can happen that I have a flat head or whatever. And then I'm not going to like it. I have hats. I have my head wraps and I also have my hairstylist. Like he'll, once you don't have hair, you can't fix that, but you know what I mean? So now I just do it. Like every three weeks, I just get my clippers, go to the nice. mirror and just start and just do it. And I even nice. have the hang of it now. Like I know you know, like with the shape, where to stop, and then take the other clippers and do it lower. It's really cool. Nice. It, does, it looks great. And you know what? It's it's interesting what you're saying about the curly yeah. hair because I went through my process because I didn't want to have to go sit under a dryer for so long and, you know, all the blow drying and the burning of the scalp and whatever. However, a wash and go is not as easy as a wash and go. Yeah. I look like a poodle for like three hours before mm-hmm. it fluffs up. And then the next day, depending on what side I slept on, then I got flat head on one side and then, you know, whatever. So I can, can appreciate I, it. Can mm-hmm. I confess something? Go. I didn't know I had curly hair. I thought I made my hair curly. Is that crazy? So now that I have short hair. So all this time I thought I had wavy straight hair and I would make it curly with the diffuser so when people would ask me is your hair curly i say no my hair is wavy and i make it curly but now that i cut my hair really short every morning i wake up my hair is curled and i'm like the fuck i have curly hair so every day my hair is not easy to get it curly it's and i have have curly hair it's just not easy it looks beautiful it looks easy but it takes a long time to make it like it that. does but i would love to let my natural curls because now they don't have any form or shape because i've been straightening it out for so long mm-hmm. so i would love to see what my hair looks like naturally just natural beautiful curls because i love process. curls yeah uh-huh. yeah well anyways hair so, issues i didn't know that <laughs> what have you been up to 
Um, last episode that you were on, you we were talking about your paint process and how you were talking about your experience dating, and we named that episode Sandy and the City because it sounded a lot like Sex and the City, where mm -hmm. you know Carrie just you know talks about her experiences, and in our last episode you were also associating the experiences with the different signs. Can you elaborate a little bit more on what's going on with that and how um, it pertains to each sign? So um, I'm happy to say that since the last time we spoke, I haven't been thinking about um, getting married um, cause that's my, that was my thought process three years ago when I got a divorce, I was like, I'm going to get married. Um, I'm happy to say I'm not there, but I am where I am open to receive a companionship and partnership. Um, but then I wasn't even dating because first of all, COVID and second of all, um, I've been busy. My daughter's going to go to college, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I did meet, meet a Virgo on Friday. So this is really good for, for us now. <laughs> I met a Virgo and Liz. So, you know, on Wednesday, I came back from the Poconos. Um, I was, I rented a lake house with, uh, my best friend and we were just like, you know, in tune with earth and, and it was just lovely. Um, I decided, and I thought about you, Liz, I decided to go into the dating app. Right. Ah. So, on Wednesday, which one? I, which one did you elite, do? elite, elite, elite um, singles? I told you guys. That. I told you guys yes, about elite. Yes, 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 uh, yes. Sandy, before you finish, uh, my situation has been an epic fail. Okay, and I can, well, I haven't finished <laughs> I can... mine. Oh shit! <laughs> well, so, so tell go us. ahead. So tell Wednesday, us. I come back from the Poconos, and I said to my best friend, "You know what? I'm just gonna join. It's okay, and I'm going to." Um, let go of all the um, idealisms that we had and all the point of views that I had when it came to, you know, old ways of dating and then, you know, whatever. So I did that. I decided to join. And on Thursday, I received a couple of um, messages and um, two of them stood out very much um, because the rest, they, dis they, they wanted kids. And I knew that that wasn't my thing. So I responded to two. And then I narrowed it down to one because he was assertive and because um, he he didn't waste any time giving him giving me um, his number. And so we started talking Thursday and Friday. We met at a meeting point because I said to myself, maybe he's a catfish. So I'm going to go wash my car and I'm going to tell him I'm going to give him that that point there. So he pulls up. And I see someone pulling up and I'm like, wait, let me look inside first, you know? Um, and he looked fine. Like, okay. Sí, porque a veces bonita la jaula y feo el pájaro, tú sabes. Right. Oh, well, wow. I like, Mari, tú sales como una vaina. No, es verdad. <laughs> and oh my God, me I've gustó, never heard that. Me gustó la jaula. You know, if you understand what I mean. La jaula yeah. pulled up and I was like, well, the, the car is, actually, he's driving what I'm driving. So I was like, and the same color. So I'm like, yo, like for real, he's a Virgo Virgo because Virgo and Scorpios have a lot of similarities. And even though he said that he wasn't into signs, I was already doing my, my, um, putting stuff together. And, um, that was the first thing that I noticed in him. So he comes out, he's smiling. He has all his teeth and, um, <laughs> even the side ones, right? Like you went. Uh huh. Because I went up to him and I'm I was smiling dying. so he could smile at me and I could look at his teeth. You're like, you're like, uh huh. Yes, because that tells a lot about someone. Yes. Um, yes. If they care, if they have health insurance, um, dental plans, and that's important. <laughs> like, wow. Okay. For real, like if you're 45 and over and you don't have dental plan and you don't, like, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. Right? And it's nothing Absolutely. wrong with it. Yeah, it's just that you need to go do your homework. There's resources out there. You need to go do that because that's important. Your teeth, you get bacteria. You could get a, a bacteria into your brain, meningitis. There's like a whole bunch of shit that could happen, right? So I'm looking at this and um, we said hello. And I guess he felt the same way that I felt. 
because we at first he would say, yeah, sure. I'm going to, I'm going to, is a meeting point. And then I have something to do and I'm just going to drive away. Like he said, he was just going to go and we were going to just part our ways and then take it from there. Um, I guess he saw me and I saw him and we felt comfortable enough where he said, let's go have coffee. I said, sure, let's go have coffee. So we went to a Panera's, we had coffee, we laughed, we talked, um, and we hit it off really well and, um, mature and assertive. Like I said before, um, very smart, but then again, smart, but at the same time, he didn't mind dumbing it down. If anytime I had like a stupid comment, he got it. I didn't have to explain. And that was dope. So he, he left, I left and the weekend passes. Um, he had things to do and so did I. So Monday he says, can we have lunch? I said, sure. I'll meet you at two o'clock, blah, blah, blah. We go have lunch. Okay. So this is where I need. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> I haven't even gotten that far yet because just, I've had so many issues prior to even that. I haven't even scheduled a meeting. <laughs> but go oh ahead. no. So, so, um, lunch. I get there before him. I make all of whatever I sit down. He comes in. He's happy to see me. We hug and that's okay. And it was consensual. I hug him back. He goes for a kiss. And Wait, I'm a like, kiss on the cheek? No, the lips? a kiss in my lips. And I'm like, okay. Oh. But he's cute. He's handsome, Sandy. And he's feeling it. And he's two years older than you you said he was assertive that's what you wanted and you wanted someone because back to the drawing table when you and I when you and I um uh were talking I said I wanted a friend right Mm -hmm. I wanted a friend so I did my moon rituals I requested a friend and then all the people that I've been getting are friend like and I realized I don't want a friend I want someone who's friendly to me and kind, like my friends, but I want to fuck you and I don't fuck my friends. So I need okay. passion, right? So mm-hmm. I, I went back to the drawing board and I did on a, you know, on a full moon and I was like, um, I want a friendly person, kind, passionate, assertive, and definitely sexual. So I said, okay, you asked for that. So that's what you got. You got a kiss. All right. So I go up to him. He tries to kiss me. He taps kiss me and I, okay. And then he says to me, oh, don't kiss me like I'm your cousin. Like, kiss me. And I'm like, what? "Mm -hmm." And I'm laughing because I didn't see that coming. And I'm like, "Mm -hmm, mm -hmm." and I sit, right? We order lunch. We're talking. Everything is okay. Again, good conversation great guy, respectful, really nice. Um, and I'm asking him about his kids, his family, and he's well off. He has a great job in the elite singles. This app, um, match you with what you're looking for. But the good part of it is that they screen their people uh, like to the T and everybody there supposedly is well off, have a career, has a good job or they're college graduates and blah, 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 blah. And they're also of a certain age, 40 and over. And they're not looking to look link up. They're looking to a committed relationship, for a committed relationship. So I was okay until we were leaving. Um, he walks me to my car and he hugs and I hug. And I had told him my love language. I like, I, I appreciate affection. Um, and I like to be told, you know, not only you know, that they love me, but I also like to be shown and, you know, and like affection, both verbal and doing. So he, I already know where this is going. (laughs) So he's like hugging, kissing. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So I got to go. And he tells me, Oh, can I see you later? Mind you, he lives in Connecticut and he came all the way from Connecticut. And I said, no, because later I have things to do with my kids. And, um, and I didn't want to give him a list of shit that I had to do. I had things to do and I already saw you. So he says, all right, cool. On that same night, he calls me and he says to me, um, 
can I see you tomorrow? And I said, I already have plans um, Tuesday to take my daughter uh, prom shopping, dress prom, prom dress shopping. Um, and then he said Wednesday, and I said, I have to service my car. And when I'm servicing my car, I'm going to drop it off and stay there for two hours. He says, bet. So this is what we'll do on Wednesday. When you're servicing your car, I can um, uh, pick you up. We have lunch and then bring you back. And I said, this is amazing. This is great. I like that. Fine. We go for Wednesday. Before Wednesday, he on Tuesday, he tells me, and tomorrow, think about what you want to do in those two hours while we're hanging around um, besides eating, what you like to do. And I said, no, we just have lunch and then take it from there. It'll be close to the mall. So there's like a lot of options and whatever. He says playfully, um, during the lunch, the, during the lunch, I'm going to take you, um, ring shopping. Oh, this went a different direction. I'm going to take you ring shopping. Um, so that way I can have an idea of what you like. And I said, huh, that's funny. Um, and he goes, you know what you want, right? I was like, yeah, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm, I want to receive definitely, but that's not what I, I don't want a ring. I don't want to get married to someone that I don't know. And he goes, well, it's not now. That's like in the future if everything goes well. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. We go out to lunch. Um, Again, when I greet him, when I when I get to the uh, Mercedes Benz place to service my car, he's already waiting for me. He comes from Connecticut. He's already there, and I was ten minutes before my time because I'm I'm I want to say I'm never late. My OCD be like that, but I was there ten minutes before one, and he was there before me. Um, he's there. He goes up to me. He's hugging kissing and I'm like wait hold on like hold on and he's and I go in the car he's holding my hand and I'm taking my hand off so he could pay attention to the GPS we go it's already uncomfortable we go to the to E and that was fine and then um when he drops me off to pick up my car because he was like oh you want to go ring shopping and I was like no I don't I don't want to go. So he was shopping. serious about that. He was serious. I was like, no, my car is ready. Actually, I want to go back. So many flags. So many flags. So he takes me back. He's hugging me. And I'm like, oh, I got to go. So I'm almost leaving. And he says to me, you, um, can I see you today? And I was like, I already seen you. Like, I'm looking at you. Like, I'm here now. Right. Um, <laughs> and he says. Like, I'm already seeing you. Like, I'm seeing you, right? <laughs> and then he says, um, oh, okay, uh, all right, so I'll talk to you later. I said, no problem, I'll talk to you later. I leave, and while I'm picking up my car and paying for the services, he's texting me, and he's texting me, um, I'm going to wait outside when you pull out. When you pull out, I'm going to, I, I just want to hug you again. So... I said LOL because I thought he was funny. <laughs> What's that like? I pull out. Oh He's there. So I park beside him. I pull my window down and I was like, What's up? And then he was like, Oh, I just wanted to give you another hug. I was like, You already hugged me. I'm like, Okay, so I got to go. Like, we talk later. So I leave. On my drive home, he calls me and he's like, you know, I, I hope that you don't think I'm pushy or like rushing anything. I was like, actually, he was like, I'm just really excited. I've been on this app for a long time, not a long time since November, and I haven't found someone that I really like. And I said, I get it. I understand, like totally, because I didn't know what I was going for. And I'm and I appreciate that you're going with your heart what your heart is dictating you, but you got to give me a minute to process this because I just saw, like, I just met you on Monday, right? He has to pace himself. Right. So I was like, and I get it. I'm excited for love and I'm, ex I'm a fool. Like I'm excited and I'm, but it, it just felt weird. So, um, 
fine. That passes by. When I get to my house, he texts me again. And he texts me, I miss you. And I was like, all right. I'm going to have to have a conversation with this guy. Red flag. So I yeah. called him. I'm, I'm feeling like this right now. I'm right. feeling like this, I Sandy, for him. you. I'm no, like, I called him and I told him that he's an amazing man, but he's not the man for me. And thank you so much for showing me, you know, um, where I am right now. Because I needed to do some thinking now. Back to the drawing board. So um, Thursday, I took myself uh the whole day just to think about where i'm at and what what was uh the universe and god was trying to teach me um and where i am as in dating like what what is what mirror is he showing me what is it that i needed to learn so i took thursday for that but um i feel so much better now and I'm good. And I found out. So I'm good. <laughs> that was Virgo. Wait, wait, wait. So can you share what, how did he take it? Um, I said what I said and he was like, can you tell me what did I do? Um, so that way I know what did I do that repelled that's, you? That's really good that at least he asked because it's always good to have like an exit interview to see what you can tweak because this can be very stressful for people that are really, you know, that are lonely or anxious to find that partner in life. When, you know, when a person finds themselves where they're ready, they're so ready and so eager. Mm -hmm. So it's really a nice sign and, and nice of you to give him like an exit interview so that he knows what he can do better yeah. next time. Yeah, and I told him that it wasn't really something particular that he did, that it was me, that I felt uncomfortable, that... I wasn't where he was and that um that intellectually like intellect wise he was a very smart man and so am I and we had so many things in common but just because we had those things in common doesn't mean that I am rushing or blind for anything like in my reality my reality is different um so I told him definitely that it wasn't him it wasn't him it was me totally me it's on me like i'm accountable for it i i don't know i i think that what you said kind of would have put any of us <clears throat> off no you guys don't yeah think? no sandy even though you and i and i get what you're saying you weren't ready or you weren't where he's at i think that his behavior was too much too soon yeah, you know, a couple of years down the road, where I would have, I would have done the same thing. I would have been like, ah, this is not going to work because I would have felt exactly like that, uncomfortable. Right. Was it? We're in the relationship and all that. Great, no problem. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get to know you. Right. And you're all over me, and like you, you literally took my love language literally. Literally. And, and then I told him, I was like, um, I felt uncomfortable, and at the same time. Um, where he was, where I said, where you are right now, you're in three months into a relationship, three months, four months, and it's only been three days. We're not even in a relationship. We're having lunch. I haven't even had dinner with you. Dinner is a big deal for me. If you're, if, if we're having dinner, it's cause we're going to make out soon. We're going to make out. You're going to touch my tit like soon. If we're having breakfast and lunch, we're not there. I do that with my friends. No. Right. So, so now we know if, if, if she invites us to dinner, we're good. Yes, we're somebody's good. In the bathroom, getting, somebody's titties. Somebody's titties, titties, titties going to get stuck. If we stuck, get like, stopped at real. breakfast, then we're done. No, but here's the thing. I the love other it. Piece, and you know I have to take it here. It says something about him to want to commit so soon, the neediness, the, the there's it's just something about him, his personality or something with him that he went there, not with the affection, but like, let's get a ring. Let's think about it. Uh, you know, there's, there's something there. That yeah. And that same like, night when that Wednesday that, um, that I saw him for lunch and I was like, chill, I'll call you later. He, when we spoke on the phone, he had told me, Oh, do you want to take walks? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like I'll walk. Like it's fine. Um, in the future. Right. And he's a, he's a tennis player. 
So he's very um, athletic and all that. So I'm like, all oh, right, he's going to whip me into shape or whatever. And um, in the future, I'm thinking by next year, I'll be like, he said in five minutes, <laughs> this man told me, you want to start tomorrow? We could go <laughs> early morning or in the evenings every day. I, I had to tell him, I'm like, you know, besides Sandy, I also have other titles. Like I'm a mom. I'm a friend, a sister, blah, blah, blah. I, I work, I'm a nurse, like I'm a creative. I have a lot of, I'm doing other things. I don't mind taking a walk with my partner, but he's not my partner. So, uh, yeah, no. So he took it well? A little suffocating. He hasn't, he hasn't called you since or anything or text you? He probably has, but what I do is um, once block. I'm done, I block it. I block it, people. Right. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, um, I said what I said, and then I just blocked because I don't have to give you so much explanations. I don't right, even know right. you. We're not. Right, we right. we. I just met you on Monday. It's okay. Right. We don't even so, need to be friends. Wow. Well, so Sandy, after Thursday, what did you find out about yourself? Um, yeah. interesting. Uh, I found out that I'm a really good manifester. That I'm in a very good place. Um that I am attracting very good, kind people with good intentions and that it's working to keep on doing it, to keep going for it because it's coming. Yeah, because he was, he was a really good, kind person and, and he had those things on paper that, that look good and he didn't, ha he didn't want more kids. Like, I was, I'm there. I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah. So for Do somebody you who's listening, given... oh, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. No, no, say, for some, sorry. somebody who's listening and wants to go through that process that you mm -hmm. did on Thursday, can you walk us through that process? Um, Is that something process? that can be walked through? Uh, well, like what you did on Thursday and like dedicating the day to yourself and figuring out what, what it was that happened. So on Thursday, um, what I did was that I definitely was meditating in the morning and asking God to show me, show me why I felt, I knew why I felt uncomfortable, definitely. And it wasn't something that I made up and it wasn't trauma response. And it wasn't um, me over exaggerating. I knew it was real, that it was something that I that I know something was going on that was not right. So I just wanted to make sure that why is it that um, I kind of went with the flow even when I was feeling uncomfortable, and that at this point I should have known better on the first feeling because I, I follow my intuition and my intuition was telling me from the first kind of kiss thing that he did that it took me at back. Why, why, um, the 14 year old or the eight year old Sandy in the restaurant was there. Why I, why she was there when I worked with her already. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And why was she there? Um, she shows up. Hmm. She shows to me up. All the time. She that shows was, up. And you know, I've I had never... to talk to her on Thursday. That's crazy. I'm sorry but, to interrupt you, but I've never... The way that you just put that, that to me is amazing. I've... I've I've been in situations where I do feel vulnerable and ch childlike, mm -hmm. and I've never ever have put it like that where I've said, why did the eight or 10 year old? Mm -hmm. And wow, that's something that I would yeah. literally, that I would love to kind of look into. That's yeah. amazing. You just opened up my eyes to something, Sandy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Even, yeah. even in, in a, in a dialogue or in a, in a, when you have a, um, a disagreement with your partner, Right. They show up. Mm -hmm. That and is if, amazing. It, and usually you attract um, the other partner. Usually you attract your 8-year-old or your 14-year-old. Whatever issues that you attract that person also, that little guy or whatever. So you, could, you know 
you can see it in people dialogue when they are having fun who what what age they they are and also when they have disagreements or uncomfortable moments um, yeah. i am currently um listening to a book that i recommended to the ladies yesterday mm -hmm. and sandy um i don't know if you've read it already but it's called um what happened to you mm -hmm. and it's by uh, dr bruce d perry mm -hmm. and oprah winfrey oh and it oh, talks right. about trauma on the developing brain of children mm -hmm. and it talks about exactly that i don't want to make mm. this episode about that but mm -hmm. that little girl she shows up she fucking because shows up there's sometimes things that you need to work on in mm -hmm. yourself to get her to catch wow. up to where you are you know? right but i'll let you continue it's it's, it's called unresolved trauma and and mm -hmm. for as much of you so there's a difference between making peace and moving on mm -hmm. And so having the trauma, it, you know, it, it lives with you for the rest of your life. Right. Um, and you have to definitely put it in its place whenever, but it'll show up during moments of stress or moments of anxiousness or moments of insecurities or whatever's going on. That's when it'll show up. Show up. And it's so, not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not because I, the good thing about it is that she showed up for lunch that day and um, then Sandy... 45 year old Sandy um, on Wednesday afternoon was like, you got to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to have a conversation with you later tomorrow. But right now I'm going to talk to this guy and tell him that this is not what I want. Yes. Because she was frozen for lunch and she allowed to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But no, no. On Thursday we had a conversation and I was like, mm mm this why did you show up and why didn't you say right away no don't do that don't, i did not i didn't give you not even signals for you to come and kiss me like that you know but anyway that happened on thursday i had that i also um of course meditated into that i had my tea no alcohol no infused thc honey none of that shit i was like really really sober in myself, no conversation with anyone, um, turned everything off. So I can, um, really think about after, after having the conversation with eight year old, 14 year old Sandy, um, then coming back to the drawing board as an adult and taking accountability for where I, you know, allow things. And then at the same time, going back to the drawing board and see, um, you know, maybe the thoughts that I had before about, um, you know, that I need, not need it, but I wanted to get married or whatever, maybe that's just like an old view and it's okay. And it's okay if I meet someone and I don't think about getting married, that it's fine. So um, I did that. I watched some movies. I... I um, what picked like really funny movies and romantic movies so I can cry a little um, and let it go because sometimes you just want to cry for no reason. I had no attachment to him. I think it was more like the uncomfortable part and also to feel that, you know, at least I did that. Like I did the app, I did that and I'm okay. Now let's move forward. Then um, Friday came and, and I'm good. I'm in a good space. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you going to, I, I, I'm sorry. I, Cause I want to get to the next question, but I'm just in awe of you mm -hmm. right now. Thank you. Because I just, you know, you articulate that so well, like the struggles that we have sometimes and understanding where our emotions come from and who appears because a lot of people don't know, you know, and just last night I was explaining that to Randy because I'm learning about, you know, how, uh, stress responses, you know, and how, you know, your reptile brain, when you get an emotion, just, it triggers a memory emotion before it gets to the prefrontal cortex where you can, you know, not conceptualize time. And this mm -hmm. is happening now. This is, this isn't what happened in the past, mm -hmm. but your body has already reacted. And I was trying to explain that to him and 
although I was able to explain it just now, I couldn't explain it to him. Mm -hmm. And he was asking me because I, I responded to something and this is where, you know, what you're explaining, what you wanted before to what you wanted to what you want now, how that changes. And, you know, like the person that you were before isn't who you are now. Mm -hmm. And I'm experiencing that right now also. And, you know, men, men are very different. They are sometimes still the same mm -hmm. person that they were five years ago. Yeah. And so when I'm making different demands now, he's like, but why? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to explain, but, but, but I've changed, mm -hmm. but why? Mm -hmm. But you know, so we're, we're having these conversations and articulating these things sometimes isn't as easy mm -hmm. or doesn't come out as um, fluidly as you just so that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, wow. Thank you. Like, Thank you, you just... for saying that because I honestly don't, when, first of all, no one has asked me these questions. That's one thing. And second of all, I wouldn't even know how to put it in writing or explain these type of things. They're just, they're just, they just are, right? Um, so for you to understand where, what I said, that's a big thing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, good. It's not confusing because sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm confusing. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm confusing all the time. So it's like, uh, to me, it's the same thing, I guess. I guess yeah. it's what I get with, you know, like I, I just recently, you know, had, um, you know, was interviewed and I, I needed the girls there because sometimes I feel, you know, like people aren't going to understand me unless they know me. They're not going to understand me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I needed Liz there. I needed to be able to see Liz so that I knew at least somebody yeah, here safety. is getting what I'm saying. That's your safety. Yes. Yes, That's feeling safe, safe and I feel yeah, I feel really safe with you ladies. Anyways, Thank so you. it does it. What's next? So, um, so with that being said, Virgo, um, a lot of people were always telling me you should date a Virgo. You should date a Virgo. Um, I'm not done with Virgo. First of all, that was just an, one experience. Um, and people were always telling me Virgos are great. They're intellectual. They're OCD. They're very perfectionist and all of that. So um, I said to myself, all right, so this Virgo didn't work out. What I'm going to do is that when I, I just bought some antique chairs and I'm going to reupholster them. I'm going to um, just change them into like some boho chic thing that I saw. And I took some um, nice. classes on sourcing fabric and I, I took some classes um, on design and painting furniture. So I'm oh. so ready to go into this Virgo that. thing while I'm yeah. doing this and um, manifest <laughs> while I'm doing my, my chairs and um, the Virgo that I need in my life. But that Virgo wasn't <laughs> it. <laughs> he wasn't it. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. it. I'm still I in the app I though. I was going to ask you, I think I need to get off plenty of fish. I, I'm just not seeing it. I don't know. Yeah. Plenty not, of fish. I is yeah. that one is that one also like for serious daters or Well, Maddie's living with her, so <laughs> Oh, okay. Got it, got it. So it worked I out mean, for her. <clears throat> it did. Okay. And my something's wrong with my right? Yes, I we the image. Echo. The yeah. image and there's an echo, so something mm. Yeah. Something I haven't happened, touched but... anything, so I don't know what happened. But um, yeah, mine's not working out. Okay. Well, this app that you're on, what are the requirements for the app? Is it a paying app? Is it? It's like, a paying how expensive app. Expensive is it? It is. It's. Ex I think it's a little pricey. Um, that's why I was considering, but then I was thinking, you know what? It's um, because they have like a, a packages. Like a single month is kind of pricey. It's like eighty bucks. Um, but like a six months is less and like a year is, you know, they have like a, like a sale, but I said, I'm going to give myself one month. And I was thinking if I have to pay $80 for a husband, then fine. $80 is fine. <laughs> That's worth it. right? Yeah. Cause I spend more than that on shoes and I'm like, you know, I could spend that on a husband. So um, I'm so just funny. doing one month and after that, I'm good. Cause I think that after that, uh, outside is going to be okay. And I'll be outside. <laughs> well, that's true because COVID has also had an impact on, you know, dating. You yeah. Know? I couldn't go to, 
uh, bar in Wall Street or whatever. You know what I mean? Or whatever, wherever people go to meet people. And then I was thinking the thing with me is that I do have a huge circle of really dope, amazing people. Um, it's just that these dope, amazing people are younger and um, they want children and it's different, right? Um, so that's not going to work out. And then um, I was thinking uh, at the hospital, anytime I have like a nursing job, there's a lot of intellectual, dope, amazing people, but I don't date people at my job. So that's not going to work out. And then COVID... I will. Huh? You will? I, I will. That's yeah, dope. At your that's job. Good. I'll date people at your job. So oh, okay. You could come over. I go to your job. <laughs> so then... I, mean, I work from home. So. <laughs> my God. And then I, I've been home. So how, where? So that's why I decided to do the app. But, you know, outside is coming. The sun is out. And I was thinking that that's one of the things that I was thinking on Thursday. I was like, it's okay. You know what? Honestly, you probably don't even want to date in the summer. You probably want to be a hoe up there. Let, let, let's do summer. And then by Listen, September. Have you heard? Have you let's... heard? <laughs> what? It's a bald girl summer. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> have oh. you seen that? No. Yes. What is that? They have um, all these girls on Instagram. I, I want to I wanna look it up. I want to find out, find the hashtag. But I've seen mm -hmm. the girls with the clippers. And I thought that's what you were doing. Oh no! Because they because the the hashtag was bald girl summer. What is that? And I'll, I'll I'll share it with you. I'll share. I don't know if it was just I saw one person, and I'm not sure if that's um, if it's a trend or a thing. But I thought, oh, this is probably a trend. I'm gonna ask Sandy about. Oh it. no! Look at that. No, I did it way before summer. <laughs> yeah, no, but you know, who knows? I was like, you know what? Maybe you just want to have fun this summer, and that's okay too. Maybe you don't want to be holding hands with someone the whole summer. Mm, that's true. I have a question for you. Is Go. there a sign right now that mm -hmm. you are looking to date and try out? Is there maybe a sign you haven't dated and you're interested in maybe Where, kind of yeah, testing out? Yeah, there's signs that I haven't dated, that I haven't dated for sure. Um, but like I said, I'm thinking um, when you look at the compatibility of Scorpio and, and other signs, Tauro and um, Virgo are very compatible to Scorpios and Capricorn. Capricorn actually it is uh, one of the signs that I know for sure works out. Mm -hmm. so, so, so are you going to give the app another chance or no? I'm going to let it be uh, run out the month and then I'll enjoy my summer. And then come back to it maybe like around the fall or something. Yeah, but I'll enjoy my summer. Sounds like, like a plan. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, wow. Uh, this has been really interesting. Um, <laughs> but we are out of time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely walking away with some knowledge. Oh, at least you got something. Uh, yes. Not only my dating um, experience <laughs> with a Virgo. Uh, you're a very interesting person extremely interesting thank you guys yeah, i can i can listen to you talk yes. all day um yes. so sandy when are you going to put out your book or your <laughs> or your a netflix series or whatever <laughs> you need to do something with this really okay guys yes. so since everybody's listening to this um if we have any di female directors female writers editors producers that would like to work with me hit me up <laughs> I love I it. I can be cast as an extra. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, um, you guys know how to find Sandy. She's Arenosa Lady J, right? Yes, yes. On Instagram, and uh, if not, you can just DM us. We'll guide you in the right direction. Um, everyone, you know how to support the podcast. You can go to Patreon, you can buy our merch, you can give us a review and, you know, or just a like, if that's all you can afford. Um, thank you for listening. And I guess, thank you. Thank you so much, Sandy, for joining Love us. You. Love you guys. And we will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Ladies of El Salón, the Chronicles. Oye, ladies of El Salón, the Chronicles. Escucha.